think the primary role that I was able to play as a leader in the network community was to take the technology that had been developed in support of the ARPANET and scale that technology so that it was able to be used to establish the commercial internet that we know today. That was all done as, the re as a result of a project that we did for the National Science Foundation called NSFNet. They asked us to connect the supercomputing centers together and the major research universities in the United States to the supercomputing centers. They had decided that the right protocol for that was the ARPANET protocols, what we know as TCP IP. Our challenge was to do that with a relatively small budget at a scale that met the need to connect literally at first thousands and then eventually millions of people uh, together uh, in this uh, technology. So we started in 1987 to build this network. We put it in production in 1988. And by the time we finished in 1995, the network had grown about 400% every year during that period. At the end of that period, the technology had proven that it would scale and meet the demands of millions of users, because that's what we had at that time, spread across dozens of countries around the world. And it was that technology then that the commercial internet providers adopted to build the internet as we know it today. When we started the NSFNet project, the consensus in the telecommunications community was that this will never work. AT&T actually came in to the director of the National Science Foundation and told him that it wouldn't work, that the National Science Foundation was wasting its money to build a network built on the internet protocols. So there were abundant skeptics, and of course there were only a few tens of thousands of people who had access to the internet technology of that day. And our, our task was to build something that would actually serve millions of people. We had to invent technology. We had to bring new telecommunications resources to bear. When we started off, we used a one and a half megabit channel to move all of our data. We had to go to 45 megabits. Nobody had ever used 45 megabits to connect computers together. The result of all that was that we wound up together with all of our colleagues around the world, sort of solving a whole set of individual problems that allowed that growth to take place. I'm often asked whether or not I foresaw what's happened as the internet has developed, and of course I didn't. I mean, we knew from past experience that the internet would probably be used to connect people together, even though the primary objective that we set out to do was connect people to computers. Um, but we didn't foresee social networking um, that has happened. We certainly foresaw uh, the notion that millions of faculty, students, and staff would use common resources and would be in uh, tighter communication with one another, and that this would become an international thing. I do recall the evening that we had just been informally notified by the National Science Foundation that we were going to receive the award. We were sitting in the living room of the principal investigator on NSFNet, a man by the name of Eric Opperly, who was also the president of the Merit Network. And one of the people there said, I don't know what you guys think, but I believe this is going to change the world. I sometimes think about what it would have, what my life would have been like if we hadn't uh, had the good fortune to win the NSF Net Award and launch in this great adventure of building the internet. I would not have the set of friends I have all over the world without this. I've traveled to every corner of the world working with people to help them 
launch their own national internets for research and education, just as we did uh, in the United States. It's been an extraordinarily rewarding uh, period. But on the other hand, I probably spent much less time with my family than I would have spent. You know, these, these, there are trade-offs in life, um, but it's been an immensely exciting and very rewarding uh, experience.